introducing this man. Say hello. Hello. I'm carrying his bag. What you? What? <laughs> it's got wheels. Um, so I just arrived at Dad's house. Number one, the Nook. Great address. And then we're off to the oh, pub soon. Hello. <laughs> Always nice to see you. And you. Two years since I last saw this man walking the same track, we probably are. to the same pub. Possibly. There's not many pubs in Lutterworth. We've already had a few There's four. drinks before. But he's it had is, a beer and he's had a nice Easter. whiskey, haven't you? I have had a bloody nice whiskey, actually. Smoky Grouse, if you find it. He's never seen it before. Never, ever, ever, ever. We're just walking past a mansion that Dad's never going to buy. because it wouldn't want to. Look, it's got its own little dam. Look. How stupid is that? And a boathouse. Yeah. No one even uses the lake. No. Anyway, I'm ranting now. Just... Me and Dad just on the way to Shrewsbury to see Auntie Marianne and uh, have a fair few cups of tea and biscuits, I think. Well, we won't get biscuits. Why? Oh. Tea, yes. You'd I'm to, getting biscuits. You'd have to buy your own. All this is over 2,000 years old. Well, close to, what was it, AD 43. It's the Roman baths that were in Leicester. Still here, obviously you can't bathe there, but it's a pretty nice picnic spot. So Leicester are playing Atletico Madrid tonight. Second leg of the uh, quarter-final. Leicester's uh, putting on a good show. Fiesta that I've hired for a few days. Um, trip one is to go and visit grandparents' grave sites and uh, drop some flowers off. Maybe even some Werther's Originals for Popper actually, he loves those things. And then see Anna, who I haven't seen in a few years. And then back home, stay with dad, have a curry. And then I'm off to see Ben, Helena and Dexter tomorrow. And then back to Dad's. Uh, weather's not been too bad actually. It's about 15 degrees, quite sunny. Just on the M1. On the way to, on the way to Brosley. And Ironbridge birthplace of the Industrial Revolution and my mum, my grandfather and basically my granddad's whole side of the family. Very nostalgic right now.
<laughs> See you in a bit. Always fun driving with Dad side by side. Ford versus Ford. Shitey little Fiesta versus nice powerful Focus. So he's behind me now. We just went to see the Bardsleys. They are our oldest family friends. In fact, when Dad did his back in, when I was about 11 years old, um, the Bardsleys put us up. Well, actually, Dad was lying on his back for three weeks, and I live with them. And honest to God, they're, they are family. They really are. They're just epic, epic, epic human beings. So it was great to see them. We're just on the way back from uh, Gillsfield, the village I grew up in for about 11 years in Wales. Um, Kigidva, as it's known in Welsh. Um, and yeah, off for a nice meal out with Dad and Tony tonight. Uh, unfortunately, it's my last night with Dad. He's off to work tomorrow at seven, so he's gonna, I'll probably be awake when he gets up. And then yeah, down to London. Ciao. <laughs> coming back is uh, knowing you've got to leave again and um, leaving dad it's just the hardest thing to do I really hate it I love the man to pieces and I know I won't see him again until I'm almost 30 years old so I want to come back next year I need to oh. on a positive note I am off to London on the train so I get to see Dan Danielle Lucy um, it's always a plus and then I fly out on Sunday I hate goodbyes or see you later or see you soon or whatever they are because when you live in New Zealand it's so difficult to know when the next time will be he wants to come out at the end the end of 2019 my plan is to come out next year at some point because I can't go another two years without seeing him. Love you, Dad. And if you're watching this, I'll see you soon. We're just walking around Piccadilly Circus from, I don't know even know where we started, but at the end of the day, just had epic Mexican food, great margaritas, and now we're probably gonna find another pub, if not three other pubs, and try and find some trainers if we can, if not, just another pub. <laughs> Ciao.
just chilling in one of the oldest pubs in England. Originally burnt down in the Fire of London, rebuilt in the middle of the 1660s. Um, part of the bar is in the wine cellar. It's incredible. So, just leaving Dan's. And off to get the subway to, um, or the tube even, to Heathrow and back home. What Dan didn't tell me is he lived right next door to the old Arsenal ground. Look at it. East stand of Highbury. And you can see the Emirates from his flat, which is in a very nice area. So we've done a lot of walking, talking, eating, treating, I'm not gonna rap or rhyme anymore. And I've had a whale of a time with Dan and Lucy, and Lucy and Joe. Unfortunately, my time in England is coming to an end. And I'm hoping that I can come back next year, or potentially the year after, but preferably next year, because I think another year without seeing my dad and I'd go a little bit mental. So, just at the Arsenal stop on the underground, on the Piccadilly line heading to Heathrow. Should take about an hour, just over an hour to get there. What's it say? 64 minutes. Easy, I'm the only person on the platform. No more London funny looks. Uh, but yeah, we shall enjoy ourselves on the train before a very long winded way home. But it's the only way. I'd like to love you. Saying my final goodbyes to England for another, hopefully not two years, but probably another year. Um, be good to get back to New Zealand. See everyone. All them peeps. Oh well. Goodbye, Blighty. I like to love you night and day, if I may, may, may. Now on to the final stretch of the trip. Uh, been delayed slightly in Sydney, which makes it a 13 hour layover over here. So door to door, I left on Sunday. I'll be arriving on Wednesday. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. But I do love the rush of everyone having to board first because they're not going to leave without the people that have uh, already checked in. I'll see you soon, New Zealand. I'll see you soon. <laughs> in Wellington, back in New Zealand. It's not a parking ticket though. <laughs> so that's always a bonus. Uh, gonna have a cider. I've got a lot of energy right now, but I can imagine in about an hour, I am going to be absolutely shattered. So I'm gonna get Nicole to meet me at Charlie Noble when she finishes, and then I'm probably gonna go home catch up on some admin then go to bed stay tuned actually nah end the vlog here ciao